guys, it is me, Nurse Meg, and I'm here with a very highly requested video from one million trillion nursing students. <gasps> Just kidding, it was more like 50. <laughs> who asked me, how do I take a manual blood pressure? I have skills lab tomorrow, I have a test. How do I take a manual blood pressure? It's super easy, I wanna go over it with you. I have a blog post and a video um, that I'm gonna put here for you. I'll put the blog post down below in the, right down there, in the description. And while you're there, if you don't mind. Go click the little like button. Subscribe, click the little notification bell. So you get a notification every time I come out with a new video, which is every single Friday. All right, let's get to it. How to take a manual blood pressure. I'm gonna go step by step. I filmed this off the clock, so I promise I was off the clock and so was uh, my very best friend, Natasha. I love her so much. All right, let's get started with the parts of the sphygmomanometer, which is the BP machine. First, you have the cuff that you wrap around the patient. Then you have the dial with the numbers there to the right, the bulb that you pump, and then the air valve that you release. How to take a manual blood pressure. First, have your patient sitting or uh, sitting up in the bed. Have them rest their arm down. Start with a cuff that is the appropriate size for their upper arm. Wrap the cuff around their upper arm with the cuff's lower edge about one inch above the antecubital fossa, which is where the elbow bends. After you make sure that it's in the appropriate position and it's not upside down, the bulb and the tubes should be facing down towards their wrist. Lightly press the stethoscope's bell over the brachial artery, which is gonna be right below the cuff's edge if you placed it properly. Rapidly inflate the cuff to about 180 millimeters of mercury or higher, and then start to release the air from the air valve really slowly at about three millimeters per second. Listen with the stethoscope and spontaneously observe the dial. Now the first little knocking sound is gonna be the systolic pressure, the top number. When the knocking sound disappears, this is the diastolic pressure, the lower number. If the patient's blood pressure is super elevated, above 150 over 100, it definitely requires some attention or some medication. If the blood pressure is extremely low or extremely high, or the patient was moving too much, be sure to take it again on the opposite side just to confirm your results. All right guys, that was it. That is how you take a manual blood pressure. It's not as hard as you think. You might be overthinking it, you might be really intimidated, but as long as you do it a couple times, you know it, it's not that hard, okay? And I promise you the skills lab is not gonna be as strict and as scary as you think it is, okay? You're gonna get it, they're gonna get it, you're going to be fine. Take a big deep breath, in and out. Remember to do the four box uh, breathing technique to lower your heart rate and your anxiety. Breathe in for four, hold for four. Breathe out for four, hold for four. Do that as many times as you need before a test, during a test, or during skills lab. I hope this video helped you. I love you guys so much. Let me know what you want me to make videos about. I would love to make a video just for you because I really want you to survive, get into nursing school, survive nursing school, pass the NCLEX, and have a wonderful, wonderful foundational career in nursing because we, we, need, we need you. We're, we're pretty short-staffed. Everywhere. <laughs> so I love you so much. Have a great shift. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.